Once you've received the notification that a registration has been submitted, you'll go to the Review and Import screen. That can be found on the main screen of Family Data and Accounting by clicking the My ProCare button and Review and Import. In this screen, you'll see a list of new applications waiting that have been submitted for your center. The left-hand side of the screen will be registration level filtering or child level filtering so that you can filter out your list for specific types of accounts. So you may be looking for people who only answered certain questions in certain ways. For example, how many people are in the household. You might also want to only see kids that are fully potty trained. In the lower left corner, you can also filter by age. In months, you'll give the range as of whatever date you're looking for. You can apply the filter, and again, it filters your list of new applications to only show you the accounts that meet that filter. Unchecking the box clears the filter and brings back all of your accounts. You do have the ability to delete registration forms directly from this screen. If the family decides that they're not going to attend or you decide that they're not a good fit, you can delete them here before they're imported. You can also view details. Whatever account you have selected, which is marked with the small arrow, Details will open up a little bit more information. You can double click on the person and make some minor changes. If they tell you that they spelled their name incorrectly or they entered their date of birth wrong, something along those lines, you can change that in this screen before you import them to ProCare. The expand button opens up all of the lines to show you the children associated with the accounts that are waiting to be imported. And when you collapse it, it just brings it back to the original cleaner view. In the top of the screen is where you can choose the classroom and the enrollment status for a group of children or for one child. If you apply this here, it will apply to all of the accounts visible on the screen. If you have a filter set, again, it will only apply to those filtered accounts. If there are no filters and you have a complete list here, it will apply to every child so you want to make sure that it's actually a valid classroom selection and enrollment status. You can choose the classroom and the status. And if you click apply, it will put that onto all of the accounts, which we can see if we click expand. Now all of the children are enrolled in the toddler room and they're coming in as enrolled children. If you realize you made that choice in error, you can reset the top of the screen and clicking apply will also reset the settings for each family. I'm going to collapse this again to clean up the list a little bit and I'm going to expand just this submission that we just made in our registration form. I can assign individually which classroom and what enrollment status this child is going to have without affecting anything else that's sitting in this screen. I can choose to hide the account on import here if I would like. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say import. And in the lower right corner, now you'll see the number of children visible in all of the submissions that are waiting and the number of accounts visible. You'll also see how many children you've selected and accounts you've selected to import to ProCare. You have an import button. You also have an ignore duplicates option. If something flags as a duplicate and you know that it's not duplicated, it's just a similar address or a similar name, you can choose to ignore the duplicate and bring the account in anyway. We'll click import. It will tell you how many accounts are coming in again and ask if you're sure. And you should have one successful import or however many accounts that you selected for import. If it does recognize a possible duplicate, it will not import it. It will leave it sitting in this screen and turn that line dark pink so that you can deal with that on your own time. Now that we've imported the account, you'll see it's no longer in this list and the only accounts sitting here are accounts that have been submitted previously. Once you've successfully imported your family, you can go back to ProCare and scroll down and find the family in the list you'll see that the family comes in complete with the enrollment status, the classroom assigned. In the information and relationship screen, all of the pickup people that they entered 
are here with their lives with emergency and pickup boxes checked. And any questions that they answered in the registration form also copy to the tracking items and user defined fields portion of ProCare as well as copying to the log notes. So the child questions will copy to the child log sheets and the account level questions will copy to the account log sheets. You can print these if you need to and you can also see the responses on the main screen. Again with that default tracking item selected I can use the filter on the main screen of ProCare to look for that account tracking item and then I'll see accounts only that still have that item assigned. Once you've verified that you have their Tuition Express authorization forms or their immunization forms you can double click in the tracking box and remove that tracking item and the next time you filter for the tracking item they will not show up any longer. It also removes them from the current screen you're looking at because they no longer fit the filter. Clicking the red circle will reset you back to your main screen of ProCare.